What's up, guys? It's me, Sick Lantern Boy. I'm here looking at my dad. It's just so you can be able to record. Uh, is this on? Uh, wait. Did I do an intro? Okay, forget that. Y'all, y'all know my intro by now. Y'all know my intro. All right. Um, I'm here with another video. Boy, if you don't Hot Wheels car. Uh, so, um, hey, it's been a minute since I've seen y'all. A little, a little unexpected, but um. Yeah, um, sorry about the Sick Lander Tracks video. Sorry about the next gameplay video. I need to get working on that stuff, my guy. Um, and I will. But for now, I'm a star. Oh my god! Because that's what I'm good at doing. So, what I got on the agenda for this video is basically, uh, if y'all don't remember back, you know, in the day when I used to do the questions for you guys, you know, part one, part two, part three, and part four. This is part five, my guy. So, um, hey, we're gonna, we gonna hit it with some questions. I got 15 people, 15 people asking me questions in this video. So, um, yeah, I got them all written down over here. Well, that's not written down, I'm gonna type down, um, because you know, I'm smart now, but um, yeah, and um. You know, let, you know, let's let's just, let's just get into it. Let's get into it. See how this, see how this works out. Ah, yeah, I adjusted the camera angle a little bit, so um, now it looks better. All right, this first question is from Clara. All right, Clara, let's see. Her question is: Am I afraid of dying? Okay, so with that one. Am I afraid of dying? Um, let's ask you a question. Um. I'm not really afraid of dying. It's more so, I'm afraid of how I'm gonna die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really afraid of how I'm gonna go out. I just, well, excuse me, I am afraid of how I'm gonna go out. I just, I'm not afraid of going out in general. So, if that makes any sense, which it should. Moving on. Next question. This question is from Holly. What is your dream date scenario? I should have thought ahead when looking at these questions because good lord, I did not. I, I did not do that. Um, when I topped them up. Um, dream date scenario. Started. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. A dream mate scenario? Could be anything, really. Um, I really don't know. I've never really thought about that. I, I really need to start thinking about that stuff, but like, never really thought about it. I mean, if anything, I can picture just, you know, Just, you know, 2v2 in Smash Bros. or something like that? I don't know. That's that's kind of the best thing I got right now. I don't know. Moving on. Alright, this one, this one is from Shoddy Song. You know who you are. Alright, my favorite nickname. My favorite nickname, bro, you already know. <laughs> it's Shoddy Guns. You best believe it. It's Shoddy Guns. I'm the one and only. I'm Shotty Guns, bro. Shotty Guns, shooting high, shooting guns all day and night. Just in case they want to fight, one bullet can make it right, my guy. So, um, yeah, it's always been Shotty Guns. Well, no, it hasn't always been Shotty Guns. But it's been Shotty, it's Shotty Guns now. It's Shotty Guns now. Favorite nickname, Shotty Guns. Um, so, yeah. Moving on, next question. This was from Alley Cat. And I've never learned this chick's real name. I've never learned a real name at all. Uh, but her question is, have you ever had any weird fantasies? Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does Princess Daisy count as a fantasy? Yeah, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. Now that I think about it, I don't think I've really had any weird ones. 
There might be some that are considered that, but I don't think they're comfortable being mentioned on, you know, YouTube terminology. So, um, yeah, uh, I think I just used that word wrong as well. But, um, any word fantasies? No. No. Uh, I, I, at least none that I think would be considered weird. So, yeah. Um, Does Princess Daisy count? Anyway, moving on. Next question is from Hadley. This is one of my bestest friends right here. This chick's always got my back. All right. Her question is, have you ever thought about moving far away and becoming the opposite of yourself? That's a very deep question. Number one? Number two? No. Simple no. Like, why would... Okay, number one. Have I thought about moving? Yes. Yes, I've thought about moving. Um, I thought about going to Ontario. Well, back to Ontario, I guess I should say. Um, you're saying there... I uh, thought about moving with my um, Italian part of my family, um, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I, yes, I have thought about moving, but I haven't thought about becoming the opposite of myself. Because, come on, the opposite of perfection is just. What is the opposite of perfection? And you know what? Okay, but yeah, you see, you see my point. You see my point. Have I thought about? To be moving and becoming the opposite of myself? No. I've thought about moving in general? Yes. So, um, and those were just some of the places that I would like to, you know, move to if I do have to move one day. So, um, yeah. There's all, there's other places too, but mainly those, mainly those. Tokyo is a big one as well on my list. So, um, I say all of that and yet yeah, I'm wearing the freaking American flag shirt. So, eh, they're going to keep me out of the country. All right, moving on. That's one's from Gamer Park. Subscribe to this man, link in the description down below to his channel. He's part of the Parkland, just like me, but of course Parkland, uh, my Parkland channel is my second channel. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave my second channel in the link description down below as well. I haven't put any content on that channel yet, but um. Let's hope I will be able to one day. Moving on. He says, favorite game of all time. Good look. All right, favorite game of all time. That's a good question. I mean, y'all know what my channel's based off of, so you know it's a game of that series. So, um, which one is the question? Hmm. Skylanders, no. Skylanders Imaginators. Heavy game of all time. The only reason why is because it has racing. And I'm not counting the Switch version, obviously, because the Switch version doesn't have racing, but um, the Xbox One and PS4 and PS, all, all those other versions do. Um, I'm telling you right now, if Skylanders Imaginators didn't have racing, Skylanders Superchargers would be my favorite game. Simple as that. All right. Um, this question is from Caitlin. Caitlin with a K. Uh, oddly enough. Her question is: Would I rather eat anything or never drink anything? Rather eat anything or never drink anything. This is an either or type thing. So wait, it's like, hold on. If I choose to eat anything. Then I can still drink anything. But if I choose to never drink anything, I can still eat anything. Wait a minute, I'm confused now. Hold on. Never. Okay, so if I choose to never drink anything, then I can't eat anything that I want. Okay, so I guess it's just flip flop. I'm really in in terms with each other, but um, hey, I would have to say I'd rather eat anything because that would mean I'm still able to drink stuff, and I don't know about I don't know if this is me or what, but minute made fruit punch is kind of the best drink that there is, so. Um, I can't be missing out on that junk. No, sir. So, 
Uh, yeah. Whichever one I can still drink stuff is in. Um, that's the one I'm picking. So moving on. The next question is from Chloe. She actually has two questions, actually. Uh, number one, her first question is, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> my favorite thing to do. Let's see. I play games a lot. Of course, y'all knew that one. But, um... That might legit be my favorite thing to do, actually. Um, I mean, I would say playing cards and everything like that. Is it? These are not Pokemon cards. These are Magic cards in Pokemon sleeves. I know, I know. But um, I mean, favorite thing to do might as well just be gaming. Might as well just be gaming. It's something that I've always loved. Um, something I never get tired of. So, gaming. I mean. Yeah. I mean, if it's not gaming, then it's, you know, fine and good music. If that counts. But, um. Yeah. Uh, gaming. Gaming indeed. Gaming indeed. Alright. Um, and her second question is what's Fiona, and her, f her friend's name is Fiona, by the way. Uh, and it's what's Fiona's name in my phone? Well, Fiona's name in my phone is actually Princess Fiona because one major reason. Actually, two. Actually, two major reasons. One. Well. Okay, yeah. Two reasons. One. That's a fly name, number one. And number two. Shrek was a good series. So. so, so, so. There's really no questioning as to why I have it as that name. Really no questioning. Moving on. Alright, so we got Ash. She was asking questions way back in the other parts as well, so this is gonna be fun. Her question, meaning of death. And here we go with conspiracy theories. Okay, so meaning of death. No! God! You know what? I got you. Okay, hold on real quick. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. The action or fact of dying or being killed. The end of the life of a person or organism. And there you go. And there you go. That's, a quite, that's like probably the best answer we've given to any question so far in this entire video. So, um, there's your answer. I mean, you can't get any more clear than that. You know, that's, that's a Google definition. So, I mean, you know. You can't get any better than that. You can't get any better than that. There's your, there's your answer, though. This answer though. Here we go with Abby, and I see her question, and I'm just like, oh my goodness. All right, her question: Are you gay? Guys, I have a confession to make. All right. Um. I mean, as if the pink card sleeves didn't give it away. And it really, it really hurt. It really kind of is nerve wracking to say this, but no, no, I'm not. I'm not gay at all. But thing is, if you are, if okay, if you are gay, I, why am I holding a lot of Hot Wheels in this video? But if you're gay, I respect you. Just don't, just don't come for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Just don't come for me. But I'm not gay myself. So, but if you are, I respect you. No worries. All right, moving on. Caleb, can I shoot you? What? Okay, number one, it's a shame that this is one of the most straightforward questions in the entire video. Number two, what type of question is this? All right, um, with what is the question? Like, I mean, if we're talking like, you know, a Nerf gun, heck yeah. But like, you know, if we're talking like a paintball gun or something like that, then Actually, you know what? I might legit say yes to that because um that'll get some views. But um if we're talking about like a like a freaking you know rifle or something like that, then I like I like all my appendages. I like my body. I, you know what I'm saying? I like to keep every you know part of my body intact. So um yeah, I mean despite me being a daredevil, it's 
Hey, you know, I, it's a gun, my guy, so, you know, and my nickname is Shotty Guns, and I don't want to get shot. Oh, the irony. All right, moving on. Becca, oh, Becca's got three questions. Here we go. All right. So her first question is, where did Kachiga come from? Okay, so Kachiga is one of the things that we say a lot in my school. And um, just in case y'all don't know, it's pretty simple as where it came from. It came from Cars, the first Cars movie, actually. If y'all don't know, Chick Hicks, Chick Hicks, he was the main antagonist of Cars 1, and he was just there in Cars 3. He wasn't in Cars 2 because Cars 2 was trash. But, you know... Chick Hicks. That's where that's where it originated from. If you don't believe me, look at look up Chick Hicks, and you'll and you'll and you'll and you'll you'll, you'll, you'll uh, probably the first thing that will pop up will be him saying to Chicka. So yeah. Uh, so Becca's second question is why did I make the Shoddy Squad? All right. So the Shoddy Squad is actually a group of people um, like myself. I'm actually the leader of the Shoddy Squad, um, and it's a squad that I actually made now. It didn't start out as the Shoddy Squad. It actually started out with uh, a good friend of mine. His name is actually Carlos, and um, he he actually made the, he actually made the squad, but it was under a different name back then. And then he was actually the leader, and he got tired of being the leader, and yeah, so things happened, and the whole squad just kind of said, "Yo." Why don't I be the leader? And at first I was like, No. Uh, I can't I can't lead the squad, my guy. Then I became the leader. And at that point, I basically took the squad as to what it is today, and it's pretty successful today. Pretty successful. We're actually sponsored by Sprite. Um, fun fact. And we're, we're sponsored by another company as well. Lysol. Yes. We're sponsored by some good companies too. Um, so yeah. And um, here is our logo. I made it myself. That's fly. You can't you can't deny that, John. Alright, moving on. Her third question. How's life? Life is good. Life is good. LG itself. Life's good. So, um, yeah. Thanks for the thanks for the questions, Becca. You uh, it's pretty nice. Um, and she is a side squad member herself. She is Shoddy Turtle. Um, so yeah. Moving on. Next we got Zoe. If I died right now- What is with death in this video? If I died right now, what are the top five things that I'd regret not doing? Right now? Oh, oh my goodness. I, I, I didn't pay attention to the question right now though. Not making a game, not making a game number one, not making an anime number two, not going skydiving, not skateboarding on rooftops. Fifth one. Hmm. I don't know what my fifth one would be. Wait, right now? Oh yeah. Number oh I know what number five would be. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not not having a... Uh... Oh my god! No, that would that wouldn't work either. Yeah, dang, dang it. Um <gasps> Nope, that wouldn't work either. Um I actually don't know what my fifth one would be. I don't know what the fifth thing I regret would be. I don't regret a lot of things in my life, I just realized that. But, okay, so moving on. Uh, thanks for the question, Zoe. I'm sorry I couldn't answer it all the way, but... Yeah, um... Four out of five ain't bad. That's a, that's a what? That's an 80. Yeah, that's an 80 in terms of grades, so... I mean, whatever works. Next one is from Jamie. Ooh, this is a lot of words. If I had to choose between a girl who was loyal, caring, loving, and perfect, but didn't want to have se intercourse, or go that far, or a girl who wants to have the D, but is not loyal. Okay. Um. Uh, 
no, wait, no. This is the this is an easy question. What am I doing? All right, so. Oh, this is the first answer. Obviously, the one who's caring, loving, perfect, and like that. Um, but see, th the reason why I go for that is number one, personality makes the person. That's a little redundant, not but personality is it's kind of it's kind of the important thing. That and. I'm not getting attention either way. Like, if I go the other way, I'm not getting any attention. Like, it's not me, it's someone else, I'm just there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely the first one. The loving, caring, perfect, yeah. Which, you use the word perfect to describe the, the, the first choice, so I don't understand why you wouldn't pick the, the, the first one. Um, but, eh? So, you know somebody out there is going to pick the second one. Somebody out Ooh, last question. It feels like this was like a needle shot, bro. It just took like a second. Oh my god! Hey, it's another video on my channel, so more content for y'all. Alright, this question's from Daphne. Favorite color? I like how the most simplest question is at the bottom of the list in the last part of the video. Oh well. So, uh, favorite color? Y'all already know me. It's gold! And hot pink. This, this right here is not hot pink. At least I don't consider it hot pink. Let me know if y'all consider this to be hot pink, but I don't consider it to be hot pink. Uh, it's kind of like a lighter version of hot pink. Um, if y'all wonder what cards are in here, it's Keyforge, by the way. But, um, yeah. Um, hot pink is my favorite color. I don't think this is hot pink, but uh, let me know if y'all guys think it's hot pink. Um, hot pink tied with gold, basically. Not them together, ironically. Ironically, I like the two colors. I just don't like them together. If they're together, ill. But hey, them separate from each other, knock yourself out. That's just a, that's just a good. That's just that's just something I would get. Bro, I need me a hot pink controller. If I can, bro, ooh, that's one thing I want right there. That might be my that might be my fifth regret from um what who's that Zoe? Zoe, that might be my fifth regret right there. Not having a hot pink Xbox controller or any controller in general. Um, so yeah, that might be uh, hot pink with like black triggers and buttons of that. Oh yeah, that would that that would be bro. Somebody could give me that for a Christmas present, dog. Oh, bro, I would use that controller. No lie, man. No lie, no jump. Um, but yeah, uh, that that would be that'd be pretty sick. But anyway, that wraps up all the questions that we got for this video, and that wraps up part five. Um, so yeah, uh, so uh, if you guys, oh, that's hot. It's hot. That's hot. Guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the High Vault One One One. I still don't have High Vault in this room. But yeah, please join the High Vault One One. Um, subscribe. We actually got a new subscriber as well. Uh, Caitlin subscribed. Um, because, you know, she's, yeah, she's, the, the Caitlyn that I mentioned in this video. Um, so yeah, she subscribed to the channel, and, um, we're, we're happy to have you in the Hobbit 101, we're happy to have you, we're happy to have all the members of the Hobbit 101. So, yeah, um, man, your boy's back, uh, so, yeah, so, um, if you guys want to check out some more vids, Yo, I uploaded an onrush uh, gameplay, like epic moments, I think is what I named it. So I named it something like that. Um, and that was my, actually my last video, so please go check it out. Link in the description down below to it. As well as my comeback video, which was the video before that one. Um, and yeah, and y'all have other things in the description as well. Like, you know, the, uh, the background music to this video or the... Are you good, bro? Or my intro music and outro music, I guess I could say the outro music as well. Um, so I'll have all that in the description down below uh, as well. And all that, all that jazz, all that jazz. It's, it's all, it's all good. It's all good in the head. So, uh, with, that being, with that in mind, uh, I think that's all I got to do for this video. So. Peace out. and reach for the stars.